So what we got here is these turbo inducer rings need to be welded in here. So there's four lips in there, four little ears. Each one of those ears just needs welded across there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go about doing that. The most important thing is here that we make sure this is sitting all the way down before we weld it. But we're gonna go through, we're gonna wipe this out with some acetone and throw a little bit of preheat in it. And then, you know, we're just gonna stitch these in. I got five of these to do, so we're gonna go through and do them. So we got these all welded up, these inducer rings. Thought I'd kind of explain what I did and how I did it. Um, there's one, as you guys already seen. But I ran a, on these ones, I ran a number five cup. And I actually sharpened my tungsten, which I don't like doing. So I could get in there and get a real crisp, quick arc start. Um, I ran a frequency at 150 on these. I ran a gas flow about 12 CFH on the number five, and I ran my cleaning action right about 30, and it welded pretty good. Uh, I used a 4043 filler wire on these, so it never seems like I get a real nice looking colored 
on the welds, but that's how I went about it. Uh, being that these are the cold side of the charger, they still do get pretty hot. Um, I don't know the temperatures for sure, but they're probably pushing three or 400 degrees when this thing's building full boost. So that's kind of my thought process behind the 4043. Um, but yeah, the reason, you know, we're just tacking them in there so they can't move. And now they're gonna go in and remachine this to the right bore size. Uh, I don't know, that's a pretty big hole <laughs> for a turbo. But I um, thought I'd throw this video together just to kind of bring you guys along as I was working on this stuff and maybe it'll help somebody out.